we are checking out the SER Pro 5 5600H Mini PC. Anyone else getting confused with all these B-Link model numbers? We start off as always with the unboxing. We have a user manual which is in multiple languages including English, German, Spanish and Italian. Underneath is the SER Pro 5 mini computer. We will take a closer look at it shortly. Inside the box is a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There are two HDMI cables. One is shorter than the other and is useful if mounting the mini PC behind your display. There is a mounting bracket and some screws to keep it secure, as well as some to install a 2.5 inch drive. The SER Pro 5 measures 4.9 by 4.4 by 1.6 inches and weighs 455 grams. Along the front are two USB 3 ports and a USB Type-C port. There's a 3.5mm headphone jack and power button. On the back is a gigabit Ethernet port, two more USB 3 ports and two HDMI for up to triple monitor support. You can remove the four screws on the bottom to install a 2.5 inch R drive or SSD. The B-Link SER Pro 5 features the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor. It has 6 cores and 12 threads running at 45 watts TDP. The GPU is a Radeon graphics with 7 cores running up to 1800 MHz. There is 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and for the storage there is 512 gigs of M.2 NVMe SSD supporting up to 2 terabytes. And for wireless communication, there is fast Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Passmark pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum in a series of tests. We got a score of 5097, which is a good score for this price range mini PC. We will sum up and compare the scores with other models after the benchmarks. PC Mark is a series of more natural tests covering day-to-day -day tasks from web browsing to image processing. The B-Link SER Pro 5 scores 5800. Again, it is a good score with fast Windows boot times, software loading speed and working with large office documents. Cinebench tests the CPU to see its performance with either single or multi-core tests. We are testing the multi-core benchmark and get a score of 8,231. It is an average score for the AMD processor, but far higher than Intel's thanks to the multiple cores and threads. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU to see how well they work together in video processing tasks. B-Link SER Pro 5 scores 1,252, which is a bit lower than we expected compared to other models. Crystal Dismark runs a series of tests on the storage to see its performance across different reading and writing patterns. We get a highest read speed of 2,519 megs a second and write speed of 1,058 megs a second. The reading speed is very good, but the writing speed is a little lower than we would like. We start the game's benchmarks with Forza Horizon 5, which is running at 720p on the very low graphic settings. We get an average of 74 frames per second, which is great. It's more than playable at these settings, or you can limit to 30 FPS and have higher quality graphics. Next, we take a look at the Final Fantasy XIV benchmark. We are also running this at 720p, but on the maximum graphic settings. We got a score of 5,333, which again is a good score, with the game being very playable at these settings. Despite being quite an old game now, it's still very demanding graphically. We are running Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 720p on the lowest graphic settings. We get an average of 55 frames per second across the benchmark. You could limit it to 30 frames per second and maybe raise some graphic settings a little and still keep a good frame rate. Our final benchmark is the equally demanding Cyberpunk. We are running at 720p on the low graphic settings. 
we get an average of 32.73 frames per second which is not bad considering this is not a game in mini PC but it won't be very playable with frame drops below 30 in busy scenes. Comparing the benchmark results with two other PCs in this range, one Intel and one AMD, we can see that the SCR Pro 5 does very well compared to both considering the lower price. Against the Proteus 11 Intel i7, it is faster on the system benchmarks, but falls a little short on 3 d Mark, which Intel's generally score well on. Compared to the GTR 5, which has a far higher price, there is around an 8% increase for system tests and a massive 20% for 3D mark. So the B-Link SCR Pro 5 sits nicely between the two models in terms of performance but at the lowest cost. For CPU intensive tasks such as working with large office documents and applications, this mini PC is an excellent choice. It can also handle some image and light video editing, though you may want to consider the GTR5 for that extra 3D performance boost if this is your primary requirement. You can learn more and buy the B-Link SCR Pro 5 on our stores at droix.co.uk for UK orders and droix.net for international orders. That wraps up our B-Link SCR Pro 5 review. We hope you have found it useful. Like and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos and we hope to see you back in our next one.